Hello everybody, I'm here today to talk about something that fascinates me close to every day I'm learning German and that is compound words. What are compound words in a nutshell? That's just a possibility to combine two words, two existing words into one word. This is how we create a new word in German. German is not unique in that. We also have uh, such compound words in English and Russian and I'm quite sure in many other languages. But German is just really famous for it because they have a lot of those compound words. And it fascinates me so much because it's just so logic. Guys, it's incredibly logic. And today I want to share some of my favorite compound words with you. <laughs> Probably the first words I encountered were the simple ones, but also the ones that are used by German speakers every day. And that was autumn time, so you're already getting a bit cold, and I heard Handschuh. And that was just hand is your hand, and then you got shoe as your shoe, and the shoe for your hand is a glove. That's incredibly logic. And when I told about that to my boyfriend, he was uh, saying something like, yeah, just you wait, look at this thing on our ceiling. And I'm like, okay, this is a bulb. What do you want from that? And like, yeah, in German it's Glühbirne. Birne, isn't the Birne a peer? Yeah, it's a peer. And Glüh, Glühbirne means glowing peer. Yeah, the bulb is kind of like a pear in its shape and it's glowing. And then we talked about uh, meat and minced meat in particular because I've been to a supermarket and I noticed that uh, people are buying a lot the minced meat in the plastic packs. So it's already um, ready minced meat and you can just cook from it. And that was quite unusual for me because um, we have uh, minced meat that is sold in the supermarket, but not in those amounts as in Germany. And many people are still uh, using meat grinders at home as well as we do in my family. Uh, and we are not using those, by the way, from the Soviet Union time that were quite famous, I think. But the ones that are working from electricity, uh, I admit that's much more convenient. And though they're not using meat grinders a lot at home, they still have a really nice word for meat grinder that I really like. So in German it is Fleischwolf, with Fleisch meaning meat and Wolf meaning wolf. So can you just imagine the, the meat grinder and when you put the meat inside and it's like eating it. So the wolf uh, likes meat, so um, the wolf is eating the meat, it's disappearing in our meat grinder. <sighs> cool, no? And then I got to know quite a useless word for my level of German right now, but uh, it's a very common joke uh, between me and my husband that he is teaching me useless German words many times, but they are interesting German words, so I hope you'll also enjoy them. The compound word that I learned was schadenfreude, with schade meaning damage and freude meaning joy, so the joy of damage. What can that mean? Um, it just means that you feel happy, you feel joy because of somebody's misfortune. That's maybe not the nicest word, not the most positive one, but I think this is a really nice that you have such a word to describe such a particular feeling. And when we started to discuss all those compound words, I remembered that some years ago when I studied in Germany, I encountered an uh, article somewhere in the internet that I really liked. And it was called something like um, 10 German words that we need in English something like this. Uh, if I find it, I will put a link here. And I decided to play a game with my boyfriend. We just uh, sat with a cup of tea and I read him the definition of the word in English and I asked him to guess what is the German word. And I should say he guessed quite some words, not all of them. And I have a suggestion. Let's play this game together. If you're a German speaker, you can try to guess the German word after I read uh, its definition in English. And if you're not speaking uh, German, that's also okay. I will give the answer anyway and you will be amazed by those words. Ready to start? Our first definition is an idea that you had while drunk that you will probably regret. I will give you a hint that words contain an alcoholic drink. Do you know what is that? 
The answer is Schnapsidee. My husband says that I'm not saying the word idea in German correctly, but I cannot do anything with it till now. I hope it will improve. Um, anyway, our word is Schnapsidee. And uh, yeah, that's amazing, mind blowing, really, really logic. Schnapps idea. Schnapps is um, any alcoholic, strong, a strong alcoholic drink in German. I think this is a really useful word. So you can say to your friends in the morning that uh, to swim in the fountain or to climb a skyscraper was really Schnapps idea yesterday. <laughs> Our second word. The definition is um, intuitive empathy with things and people. Once again, intuitive empathy with things and people. But this is uh, not the only definition, it's also um, feeling something with the tips of your fingers. And here I'm probably giving uh, away the answer because uh, the word is, sorry I will read it, it's a long one, Fingerspitzengefühl. Fingerspitzengefühl. Uh, literally meaning uh, feeling something with the tips of your fingers. And I have special memories with this word because um, my uh, husband, now husband, told me about this word uh, on our first date in Spain. We were walking around a beautiful city, Cadiz, and uh, uh, we were discussing words that we like the most in our languages. And he said that uh, Fingerspitzengefühl is his favorite word in German. And I struggled a lot to find a Russian word that is my favorite and I should say still don't know which one is my favorite. Okay, our next word, the definition. Uh, a gift presented to one's spouse by way of apology. So when you want to apologize the gift that you present, uh, how it's called in German, the answer is Drachenfutter. And Drachen is dragon and Futter is feed. So when your spouse is angry, he or she is looking like a dragon, maybe even with fire. Uh, and then to calm down the dragon, you need to give him some food. So Drachenfutter. Our next word and our next definition is weight gain via emotional overeating. So you can easily imagine you broke up with a girlfriend or boyfriend or something else happened in your life and then the only thing you want is an ice cream and eating it, sitting um, and watching some TV series probably. And in German there is a special word for that and the word is Kummerspeck with Kummer meaning grief and Speck meaning bacon. So probably you gain some weight because this emotional overeating, so you get quite some more bacon on your body and then it can be called Kummerspeck. And one more word that I really like from this article is, uh, the definition I mean of this word is unstructured mass. So imagine this, unstructured mass. What is the word in German? The answer is, and I really like this word probably because it sounds a bit like abracadabra for me. Uh, the word is kuddelmuddel. Kuddelmuddel. Isn't that a bit like abracadabra? And there are a lot, a lot more interesting compound words in German. Those were just the ones that really impressed me or the ones that I had uh, really nice memories with. And I encourage you to write in the comment section your favorite compound word if you have one. I think it will be really, really interesting for all of us to read. And one more thing that I also want to share with you is that I'm so, so happy this week because my husband is coming and he will stay here with me in Russia for uh, quite some time while I'm processing my uh, documents, uh, my Russian documents and the documents for my visa. And I hope that uh, he will agree to make some videos together with me for my channel and uh, Oh, by the way, probably he is uh, watching this video right now and uh, I can ask him, will you agree to make some videos with me? I hope he will say yes. Uh, and already at the end of this week, I will pick him up at the airport. And this is just so incredible. Those feelings of meeting each other after a long time are impossible to describe. And I just wish all of you to 
be happy and stay close to your loved ones and for sure as always learn languages and enjoy this process see you next time